Hello Internet, a new device, a loop device um, for arrangement, for the arrangement view in Ableton Live, a Max for Live device. So um, this is quite a complex uh, thingy where well, you can do easy stuff here, but you can do quite complex stuff as well. So um, this is meant, or this device is meant for um, performers who are using the arrangement view and for example have a long set where they have, don't know, 10 to 20 songs in here. So for example, a band who's playing uh, backing tracks and um, maybe you have some parts where you want to loop. Um, maybe you have an announcement and you have a part where um, it should play and then you want to decide yourself when you're actually gonna start the song but the intro should loop so uh, let us have a look how this could be done with the device so I have um, the file here from uh, my band Ego vs Emo so we have a couple of songs in here and let's have a look maybe take uh, this song here so let's have a listen what's happening here so this is the intro and then the tune starts here one two three four one and here the tune starts so let's say i want to have this section looped and i can can just loop this by pressing command l and then i will have the um, selected part being looped so um this would mean I would have to have the looper on beforehand and I need to make sure that the uh, loop is uh, on but uh, with my device you can actually automate this so um, and you can have multiple loops in one set and automate stuff so that's why my device is interesting but let's start with one so um, we can have a look so I just created a uh, MIDI track where the device is sitting on. Okay, and you can see you have a loop state on here, a loop state button on here, which is uh, on and off, and this is the same. It, uh, it's communicating with the master loop on and off button. Okay, so that's no magic so far, but um, what you can do actually uh, here is you can uh, have, you have an edit function here, um, which you can send to your, um, device or with, uh, to your live set so um, for example if I say bar 371 I can put this in here 371 and I can then say okay I want uh, a loop of 8 bars and uh, to the next one so I have quarter notes in here and then I can send this to my loop bracket here, momentary. I could have a toggle switched on as well, so you can see the loop bracket will change according to what I'm putting in here. So I can uh, change this as well. So this is a bit, uh, a lot of numbers, so it's a bit sloppy to be honest. Okay, but this could work like this. Okay, so what I could do now is I could just, um, have this being on um, automated this uh, looper on button by creating a MIDI clip and then um, put in an envelope here I have the device sitting in here where is it MIDI control ah, okay I need to switch on envelope section here and then I could have the loop preset um, loop on off automation so I can now just put in an automation in here so I actually don't need a clip this would be for um, the um, session view but the device is not meant for the session view so we just need uh, automations on here okay cool so what's happening now is when um, I'm going in here um, this loop function will be switched on now and you can see it will loop and maybe I uh, don't know the front singer is making an announcement and then decide okay now switch the loop function off 
and you could actually do this with um, the um, switcher so I added a um, um, a MIDI in note you can use you can switch this one on here and then you can just for example play your SPDSX or any other MIDI controller to send this note in here to switch it off again so um, this all would make sense uh, in a minute when I show you how to use this with multiple um, looper instances because this is really you don't need the device if you just have one section which you want to loop live but if you have two sections so let's take a second one uh, maybe the chorus of this tune here okay so let's take this section here oops just created an automation I don't need okay so selection again and then I use command L so I now have a second section which I want to loop and um, I just do an automation here as well and switch this one off here after it so uh, what's happening now is when I'm here the loop will turn on And it will loop obviously so my problem now is that I actually have two areas where I want a loop to be to happen so um, I want here in this section um, a loop uh, in my set and I want here in this section a loop as well but I can't do this natively in Ableton Live because I only have one uh, loop bracket and I need to have a definition where those different loop brackets um, or where the loop bracket should move so I can do this with the device if you open up this window here you could have up to one two three four five six seven eight um, instances where you can predefine the loop um, loops in your arrangement view so for this we have the store window here so um, let's select something with a loop record and now go to the menu here and press uh, select the A button and you will see in here it will change uh, the loop points here so now I have um, starting at 309 bars 309 for 8 bars and I can now do the same for this section here I can do this manually so I could just go in here and check again bar 371 so I could put in 371 in here and the length was 8 as well so um, this is stored on here now and you can see when you select those different fields the A the loop bracket jumps to the region which is defined here and when you press B it goes to the B section here so um, with the automation now with um, turning the loop on um, this will actually now work on its own so um, if the loop bracket is sitting here and um, this will work but I need another information I need to um, move the loop bracket later in the song when I'm or later in the set when I'm just here just before here so um, I have a second um, automation lane here which would be for the loop um, points so I could set this here and then just have a B just um, in front of here so what will happen now let's have a look so maybe let's say the loop bracket is somewhere completely different and now I'm just playing from here okay and it needs a change so let's set this up to here and now the loop bracket appears section A and um, the loop on 
was selected as well so let's open both so we can see both at the same time so let's do this again so the loop bracket is somewhere different it needs a change so it would need this jump from H to A and this will happen in four bars to four now and one and you can see the loop bracket is coming up here and the loop is being switched on and now it's looping this part and it will loop exactly so obviously you need to switch off the loop manually here when you're ready to start or to end the loop to go to go further in your song so uh, just to show you uh, later in the set so this song is over and you see B the B section is activated through this automation here and now bomb the loop is turned on here and now the intro will loop from the second song we got in here perfect okay okay so the next part would be how you turn off a loop um, or the loop bracket the loop function in Ableton Live so um, I created this uh, switcher in here obviously you can just um, MIDI map uh, this button up here the loop bracket or the loop function uh, what's the right name let's have a look the loop switch you can uh, MIDI map the loop switch with an external MIDI controller so um, if we have um, them going to the MIDI map menu I can select this loop switcher here and maybe let's pick um, this uh, field here from my SPDSX so I can now just turn this off make sense okay cool so when I'm playing now here make sure that my MIDI automation is on which shows you one of the problem and now the loop bracket is coming up and the loop is playing and now when I'm ready with this I can turn off um, the loop switch here but you can see the automation now is not activated anymore so what is happening here it is not following the automation anymore because I broke the information or the automation information which is set in here because I am using this button here while I'm playing so you don't actually want to do it this way you want to use this switcher I created here so you just have to put in the right MIDI note number pitch number uh, in my case this is a G sharp 3 so I'm sending with uh, another pad I'm sending this note here and you can see this is turning on and off um, the switch here so I'm not breaking the automation anymore so I'm going into the loop, loop bracket and switching it on by itself. And now when I want to end the loop, I just can do this with my internal switcher in the device here. So now it's turned off and the automation is still on so if I want to go to B now, Let's go into the end here. So here it is the same and this is maybe a better part to show you because let's say your front singer is now making an announcement and this loop is being played and then, I don't know, he thinks about a joke and is telling a joke to the audience or whatever. So you let this loop go and then he's saying, yeah, let's go for the song and you just can't hit your pad which is turning off the loop and then you can start the song okay 
Um, this is quite a long video, but it's quite a complex um, um, device or it has quite complex function you can do here. So um, obviously this you can do the stuff with CliffX, uh, CliffX Pro uh, or CliffX. Um, but uh, if you don't want to use this, you can use the arrangement looper um, here for this action. Um, yeah, okay. I'm always um, open up. Uh, I'm always open for feedback on devices of mine, or if you have any ideas about stuff which could be built. Obviously, this takes a little time, so um, I'm not saying no. If you want to uh, donate a few um, bucks for me, uh, a few dollars, and um, if you have any other um, inquiries, just get in touch and um, I will get back to you.